First video of 2018, Boy Time Flies. So hello and yes, welcome back to another video guys. First video of 2018. Time really does fly. Um, so yeah, I wanted to start off 2018 with a special video. Um, I believe I've done this at the start of 2017. I've done albums that I wanted to see the most this year. So basically in this video I'm going to go through, I've got a pile here of about, I don't know, 20 artists, which I'd really like to see an album from this year. I've kind of done it realistically, so obviously I'm not going to do something like... Stevie Wonder as an example. I'd love to get another album from Stevie Wonder, don't get me wrong, but I just think that man's got no enthusiasm to go back into the studio. Also, I haven't included artists like um, Robert Plant. He normally takes about three, four years to bring out an album. He done one last year, so he's obviously not going to do one this year. Um, so I have looked at it at a realistic approach, uh, but then in some cases, a couple of them I still don't think are going to happen this year, but I think there's still a possibility for a lot of these artists to bring albums out this year. Even though half of them were in last year's video, and they didn't bring any albums out in 2017. So again, it's me speculating, it's me guessing. These are albums that I just, fingers crossed, we will see in 2018. So without further ado, let's get started. They're in no particular order, and I held this one up last year. I believe it's the thumbnail for my 2017 one. The Arctic Monkeys, where is their next album? I know the lead singer's got a lot of other projects going on and whatnot, but come on, everyone loves the Arctic Monkeys. And this is their best album, I think, in most people's opinion. Where's the follow-up to it? I mean, this was 2012, I believe. 2013? It's nearly been five years, guys. Come on. Come on. Next one up. This is the only album that is confirmed for this year. So I'm going to give this one a quick shout-out because I am really looking forward to it. And that is Joe Bonamossa and Beth Hart's new album. Really looking forward to it. Really am. I love Joe Bonamossa and I really like Beth Hart. So to get another album from them is fantastic. This is the last thing they released, which was a live album in 2014. And it seemed like from 2012 to 2014, they were just pumping stuff out. They had two studio albums and then this. And then they both went their own way. So it's nice to see that they're both coming back with another album. I'm really excited for it. Now, obviously from Joe, we won't get another Black Country Communion album this year because we got one last year. We won't get another Rock Candy Funk Party album this year because we got one of them last year. However, fingers crossed, the main attraction for me when it comes to Joe is his solo stuff. So fingers crossed for another studio album from Mr. Joe Bonamossa. And I think it's very possible. I think it'll be near the end of the year though, because at the start of the year we've got the Joe and Beth album coming. Um, so of course this is from 2016. This was my favourite album of 2016. So yeah, very, very, very hopeful for another Joe Bonamossa album. Um, but we'll have to keep our fingers crossed on that one, because that one there, I think, if it doesn't happen this year, it's guaranteed to happen next year, I think, because Joe's very consistent at getting albums out. Um, this is one of the albums which might be a bit unlikely. I just really want it to happen because I recently just got into him a lot, and that is Tom Chaplin. Um, Tom Chaplin has been pretty good since he split up with Keane, um, which was in 2014, I believe, maybe 2015. Um, he's put two studio albums out, so he is being quite consistent. It looks like it's going to be one a year. Fingers crossed for another Tom Chaplin album because, man... This one was so good. His last one is Christmas album, The Twelve Towers of Christmas. I really enjoyed it. So I'd be super stoked to get another Tom Chaplin album. Um, twenty another artist who last put out an album in twenty sixteen, and this artist likes putting out albums nearly every year. He's very consistent. Eric Clapton. There was nothing from Eric Clapton this year, which is a shocker, absolute shocker. Nothing from him in twenty seventeen. Um, I think it was 2016, he put like a compilation, a live album, this one out, um, you know, it, it, he put so much out, and in 2017, nothing, I think maybe right at the start of 2017, we got the JJ Kale live concert, um, but it, or it was, it, the Blu-ray came out in 2016, so the vinyl was just like, just take the audio, put it on vinyl, whack it out there, so it wasn't anything too spectacular, and it was right at the start of 2017. So there was virtually nothing from Clapton in 2017, which is a real shocker, because he's very consistent, he loves releasing stuff, so where are you, Mr. Clapton? Where are you? Um, so another studio album from him would be fantastic. 
Um, another one which I was a bit on off with this album and I didn't really like the EP they released, but um, I really like the two members of this band, so I do keep my fingers crossed that they're going to put something really good out soon. And that is the Claypool Lennon Delorium. Um, of course, Sean Lennon and um, Les Claypool in this band. Les Claypool being one of the best bass guitarists ever. And of course, Sean Lennon being that son of one of those other famous musicians. Um, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed this album. It was it was good. It wasn't great, but um, I still look forward to hearing the EP. And even now I've heard the EP and the EP's not great. I, I don't know, there's something about it, just because I respect them two artists so much. I still look forward to seeing what comes next. And I think at the minute, because they're not on a winning streak so far, both their projects have been a bit... I've, I think they need to do something, something to pull people back in. Um, kind of similar with this band. Coldplay. Um, I'm a big Coldplay fan, I really like them. This is their last album from 2014... 2015? 2015. 2015. Was not great. It was good, but it was not great. But their EP, in my opinion, this is my opinion, guys, sucked. I really didn't like it. And I really feel like they need to come back with a, an album which is more like... More like some of their early stuff to regain those classic Coldplay fans like me. Because I do still enjoy albums like this and Milo's Isleto. But my favourite Coldplay stuff is the stuff like Rush of Blood to the Head, Parachutes, Ghost Stories. So I really hope they come back and do an album kind of similar to them. Don't mind if there's a couple modern pop songs on there, that's fine. But um, maybe not a whole album like it. Another one where I really thought we was going to get an album from this guy last year, but it just didn't happen, and that is Phil Collins. He's come back into the spotlight. He's doing stuff again. Done a tour. Where's the album, man? Um, <laughs> I, I like Phil Collins. He's good. Um, he's not one of my very favourite artists, I can't lie. But, yeah, I mean, I really feel like uh, a new studio album from him would go over really well. I think people would be really interested. And uh, not only the old fans, but a lot of youngsters seem to like uh, Phil Collins as well. So he's one of the old artists who has aged well for the modern generation of music listeners. So I really feel like if he'd done a, a new album, especially if he made it kind of similar to those Disney songs, because everyone loves them, even all my mates like them, it would do really well. So... Come on, Phil, come on, you can do it. <laughs> um, this one I feel pretty confident will happen because there's been lots of talk about this guy going back into the studio. And that is Jeff Lynne from the Yellow Trap Light Orchestra, Jeff Lynne's Yellow. This was their last, his last album, Alone in the Universe, which was a pretty good album. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, I think that this was a safe comeback album for Jeff, and I think the next one, hopefully, he will... Do a longer album, more creative songs, and add a lot of strings. Um, fingers crossed. But this was still good. But yeah, I, I'm very confident that he's got another one in the works. And I've got a feeling it might be a bit more creative if the rumours are true. Because he's been in the studio for a long time now. I can imagine that one didn't take him too long to do. Okay, this is my long shot. This is my long shot. This is where you guys can laugh at me. Billy Joel. Billy Joel hasn't done an album since 1993. Every year it is rumoured by his fans that he's gone back in the studio. I don't know whether that's his fans just trying to keep the Billy Joel excitement alive because well, he doesn't do albums anymore. Um, but uh, there's got to be something behind it, surely, if people keep saying every year that he's going back in the studio. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed that this is the year he's gone back in the studio and this is the year we'll finally get a new Billy Joel album. Because I absolutely love Billy Joel. And his last two albums before he went out, Stormfront and River of Dreams, were fantastic. It's, it amazes me that he's stopped after them two albums, because them two albums were perfection. Okay, this album came out in 2016 and I missed it. I picked it up at the start of 2017. And I was gutted, because I couldn't include it in my 2016 list, because I'd already done that. I absolutely adored this album. I absolutely adore this band. This is the first band I ever got into, and that is, of course, Madness. Madness is the classic top number one British band. When you think British music, you think of Madness. They're fantastic. Um, Madness have also been pretty consistent in recent years with albums. They've put one out every two, three years. So this, you know, 20, 2016. So it's it's um, getting on a bit now nearly. It's been out for about a year and a half now. So um, plenty of time for them to get back in the studio. So fingers crossed by the end of 2018, we will have another Madness album. 
think this is the one which most people want to hear about, and that is Paul McCartney. I mean, Paul McCartney's been rumoured to be in and out of the studio all the bloody time, a bit like Billy Joel. Paul McCartney's fans are just... I think they just want to hear that he's in the studio, so someone would just chuck out, oh, I heard Paul was in the studio, and then it catches on. Everyone's like, oh, my God, Paul's back in the studio. Half the time, I don't think it's true. But, again, it's getting to that point now where it's like... It's kind of like how it was with No. I mean, I know Kiss on the Bottom came out the year before, but because that wasn't a proper McCartney album, because it'd been quite a while since Memory Almost Fall, I think at this point people are starting to think, OK, it's got to be time now, Paul. It's got to be time. The rumours were getting bigger, the rumours were getting longer and whatnot, and eventually it did drop this album, which and it was a pretty good album, this one. So, yeah, I do think that there'll be another McCartney album coming up 2018, if not definitely 2019. Um, Paul's got a bit slow lately at releasing albums, so I, I'm not 100% confident it's coming this year, but if it doesn't come this year, I will be very confident it's coming next year. Um, I hope he doesn't do an album like that again, though. That's all I'll say. I, I'm hoping for an acoustic one. Uh, this band, uh, my last two albums up, the artists that I have to talk about, actually, both released these albums last year. I'll explain why... I'm talking about them then because it seems very soon. This band had tremendous success with this album. It was very popular this year, especially here in the BC. It's the album which has led me to discover them, and I really want to get their other two albums because of this one. So I really hope that they follow this album up quick, just to keep the momentum going, to keep their popularity going, and that is The Stripes. And this is their last album, uh, Splitting Image. Um, well, Spitting Image. I think I said Splitting there. Um, yeah, this was a really, really good album, and... Again, it wouldn't surprise me if they want to jump on the the bandwagon here because it's so popular at the minute and just whack another album out. And I'd buy it in a heartbeat, so fingers crossed for the stripes. Last album up I have to talk about by an artist who I want to get another album from this year is an artist who had three projects in 2017. So that shows you that he's very keen to be in the studio and he's very good at putting stuff out. Paul Weller, this is his last album, A Kind of Revolution, and it was a really, really good, solid album. Really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, he'd done that, he'd done a soundtrack, and then he was a part of a band, I forget the name of the band, but he put an album out with them as well, where he sang a few songs, played on all of them, I think. I mean, if he can do three albums in a year, surely he can give us one solo album in 2018. So, And I mean, he did a solo album in 2016 as well, so he has put one out back to back. So I think it's very possible we'll get another Paul Weller one. He's very good at the minute in the studio. He's a very keen artist, which is fantastic. And it's really good because his music is good. It's not like he's putting out loads of stuff back to back to back. And it's just crap after crap because it's being rushed. It's being done quick. He's putting out solid material consistently. A bit like Joe Bonamossa in a way. It's like, so I wouldn't be surprised if we got another good album from him. But... Anyway, those are the artists that I want to see albums from this year, in a realistic sense, because don't get me wrong, I'd love to get art albums from other artists as well. Like, I'd love to get another Robert Plant album. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying to figure what else off the top of my head, maybe another Lindsay Buckingham one. But I just don't think it's going to happen this year. They're ones which I think are possibilities, artists which I personally like. But yeah, so anyway, let me know what albums you guys want to see in the comments below. Please hit the subscribe button, like that video, leave me a message. Yep, said that all right. Um, welcome to 2018, guys. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time for another video.